for joining us tonight. I'm Kathy Catlett. And I'm Chris Phillips. Charter schools have developed a reputation of offering an academically well-rounded education to students for free. But many students get turned away because of a state cap put in place. Today, I visited Roger Bacon Academy's Charter Day School as it held a lottery to determine who made that coveted list. It was the luck of the draw today at Roger Bacon Academy's Charter Day School. 89 out of 235 applicants were chosen. Mother of three students, Kelly Hendricks, is left with mixed emotions. I'm excited that we're going to sixth grade, <laughs> and I'm very hopeful that we'll get called for second grade so that all of my children can be in one school. Parents of sixth graders got some surprising news as there were just enough spots for all interested students. So you pretty much lucked out today, no lottery for sixth grade. We were, uh, we were very lucky and uh, I guess patience paid off and um, we're, we're glad that he's going to be going into uh, to Roger Bacon at the sixth grade. But not all emotions were positive. There was, uh, there was one parent who was sitting next to me during the lottery, and unfortunately she didn't get a chance to uh, get in directly. She got put on a waiting list. And I feel sad because um, I feel like you know her child is going to be kind of left behind a little bit. Kids are turned away from charter schools every year because of a cap put in place by the State Board of Education. Dissolving the cap uh, has been one of the planks of the Republicans that have taken over the General Assembly this year. But in addition, we need to uh, make charter schools free of domination by the State Board of Education. School leaders are hopeful one day this random choosing will end. Uh, it's just unfortunate that a parent uh, and, and their child's education is, is determined by purely chance in the lottery. Now, st several state lawmakers, including New Hanover County Senator Tom Goolsby, are pushing for legislation that would lift the cap that's currently on the number of charter schools allowed and students admitted.